Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, introducing the iPad Pro Magic Keyboard. This is going to completely change the way you use your iPad in a magical way. And voila, there it is. I went with the 11 inch model. This will work for the 2018 iPad Pro and as well as the 2020 iPad Pro. Now right away, I noticed the weight. It feel like there's an iPad inside of it, but in reality, we have the booklets. But just like any Apple product, the unboxing experience is phenomenal. And no Apple stickers. Come on, Apple. That's how easy it is to connect the Magic Keyboard. It uses the smart connector on the back of the iPad so there's no pairing, no connecting to power, it just simply works. Now opening up the iPad with the Magic Keyboard, it's going to require two hands. I can use one hand if I really wanted to, but now you're using your fingernail to open it up and you might even scratch your iPad, so I recommend just using two hands to open up the iPad. I am concerned about the durability of this case because I'm seeing some smudges right away, but I took my microfiber cleaning cloth and it looks good as new again. Now I appreciate the attention to detail on the Apple logo on the back. I wish it was glow in the dark, but one thing that is glow in the dark is that keyboard. You guys can see right here, it is nice and bright, and you can see the keys, there's no bleedage on the edges whatsoever. I absolutely love the trackpad on the Magic Keyboard just because you can click anywhere. It's not just limited to the bottom, so it feels just like a MacBook. You don't have the Taptic Engine on the trackpad. Hey, it is what it is. That's not a bad thing because you have gestures and the gestures work flawlessly on uh, iPad OS here. And as you guys can see, everything is just nice and buttery smooth. There's no hiccups on the trackpad. And of course you have the iOS or iPad OS features there. So everything just is more user friendly. It's friendlier for a pointer. And yeah, you can pinch the zoom. And that keyboard is gonna take some time to get used to just because this isn't a full size keyboard. If you go with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, that's gonna be a full size keyboard. So that's just something to keep in mind of. It's not bad, it's just something to get used to. But one thing I totally appreciate with this keyboard is just the fact that you actually have key travel. Comparing that to the Smart Portfolio keyboard, uh, that thing didn't really have any key travel. I tested it out in the Apple Store in Fifth Avenue a couple of months back. I vlogged that whole thing, so make sure you guys watch that if you are interested. But yeah, I am concerned about the durability yet again because things can get in between the keys probably, so it might be a good idea to invest into a keyboard cover once um, somebody makes one um, because things can get in between the keys and then things can jam up and yeah. Just protect your investment because $300, or I should say $300 plus is a lot to spend on the keyboard and you don't want to ruin it by spilling coffee or, you know, eating and typing. And yeah, just protect your investment, guys. The Apple Pencil was snapped right into place just as normal. Now let's talk about the Type-C port on the side. This is only used for charging, so you cannot connect SSDs or do any file transfer or connect any accessories. This is only used to charge the iPad itself. And as you guys can see, it works fine. Now it will charge the iPad slightly slower, but hey, it'll get the job done. And now, quote unquote, you have wireless charge because it's using the smart connectors on the back to charge your iPad. So this is really cool. And I guess you could say it's in the name. This is magic. Now the hinge is super duper sturdy. It's gonna keep the iPad in place and it's made out of aluminum. I love that word, aluminum. Shout out to the UK. Overall, this is just a well-made, well-built keyboard case for your iPad and definitely Apple knocked this one out the park. Um, the only concerns I have is just the durability and the um, the type C on the side not accepting file transfer but I'm just nitpicking at this point and I just got to tell you guys they definitely did knock this one out the park and if you want it Apple is definitely going to make you pay for that quality with that price tag of $299 for the 11 inch model and $350 for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro model. And fun little fact, you can go out and buy 
the regular iPad for that price. So that just shows you how bizarre that price is. Apple should have dropped down the price of the smart portfolio case, make that 100 and then make this case 180 even though that's still high, but I'd rather that than $300. But I would tell you guys, this is definitely gonna change the way how you use your iPad and it's gonna be for the better because now it floats. But now on a serious note, using Infinity Photo, LumaFusion to edit videos, it just feels like a traditional MacBook. Blurring the lines even further now, even more blurrier between a MacBook versus an iPad. And I would argue that this is the true 2018 iPad Pro upgrade. You know, getting the 2020 iPad Pro coming from the 2018, that is literally a waste of money. This brings way more features than the 2020 iPad Pro if you have the 2018 iPad Pro. So yeah, this is the upgrade that we all waited for and this is the upgrade whoever have the 2018 iPad Pro. This is the one you should spend your money on.